In this video, what are the phases of a cardiac arrest and how understanding these phases can help you save your patient, starting right now. Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a quick look at the phases of a cardiac arrest. Now the first phase is the electrical phase, and it's pretty much from zero the first five minutes, we call it the electrical phase of a cardiac arrest. From about five, six minutes to ten minutes, uh, we call that the circulatory phase of the arrest. After 10 minutes, we're looking at the metabolic phase of the arrest. What does this mean? Let's go back to the beginning, the electrical phase. During the first few moments of a cardiac arrest, the heart typically is in an arrhythmia, which means the heart's just shaking, right? The electrical activity, there's just crazy electrical activity, and by defibrillating it, by applying electricity and defibrillating it, we can cause all the cells to rapidly depolarize, and if we do it quick enough, the heart resets and it starts beating again. Groovy, that's what we want. So the sooner we can give the shock during the electrical phase, the more likely it is to work, rapidly depolarize those cardiac cells, and reset the heart to a normal uh, rate and rhythm. After that, let's say that the person went down, we didn't get to them right away, and they've started to move into the circulatory phase after five minutes. What that means is our best chances of actually getting them back, we're gonna have to supply their circulatory system. That means quality chest compressions uh, with a feedback device, well-timed, and then the rapid deployment of a mechanical CPR device. So during the circulatory phase, we're trying to blow off some of that CO2, get some oxygen in, correct some of the hypoxia, and make the cardioversion or defibrillation more likely to work. Now, moving into the metabolic phase of the arrest. At this point, in order to get the patient back, we have to correct the underlying metabolic acidosis. What's happened during the arrest is there was oxygen in the body before they hit the ground. They cardiac arrested. All the cells are still using up the remaining oxygen and producing a lot of CO2, except it's not going anywhere. CO2 is an acid, it's just sitting in the body. The heart's not pumping it around and we're not blowing it off through respirations. So in that phase, we really have to focus on quality chest compressions, getting the patient intubated right away, uh, deploying a rescue pod and impedance threshold device to capitalize on those chest compressions, add some synergy, make them more effective, uh, do what we have to do, try the heads up CPR. But at this point, it's all about trying to reverse and correct that metabolic acidosis and get the heart in a state where the defibrillation will be effective. So by knowing these three phases, that tells you your priorities right off the bat. 